<laughs> so, so the big time artist wants to know what brings me to South Africa. Little does he know that I've been, well, I lived in Cape Town for, since 2003 to 2013, and now I live in the Eastern Cape. But when I was in Cape Town, guess what? I worked all over. And one of the places I worked was here in Philippi. When I say worked, I mean I, I task. You can't pay me. I mean, you just can't pay me, right? Um, but I'm an audio dramatist. And that's what brought me here because uh, some people, Bush Radio, uh, found out, well, I did a, 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 I was in Milan, Italy, and we did this whole thing. And, and a guy from Bush Radio, they said, oh, Anthony, I got to get you. You gotta come to Cape Town. You gotta come to Bush Radio. You gotta do a workshop. And it took a few years because I, I was a. Let's put it this way: I, I was, um, well, arts director for a big time radio station in New York, a community radio station. But more importantly, it was uh, I was music director, and uh, and also arts. Well, it's, it's complicated, but it, it was a, it was the impossible job that I did. I do impossible jobs. Isn't hey, that wonderful? Hey. Like you, what do you do? What kind of impossible? This, this seems like really interesting. Now this is your, first of all, what, 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 what's your name? Tell us what. Composo. Composo. How do you, how do you? I paint under the name Scupalisco. Okay, spell, spell everything. S-K-U-B-A-L-I-S-T-O. And what does that mean? What does Composo mean? Scumbuzo is in remembrance ah. of someone. So I was named in remembrance of my father. In, in what language? Scupalisco. Okay. Um, and then Scupa Listo is just a name that I was just blessed with by my, my friends, my peers. Well, there's like every, like it's every, course, what we call, what I call, like every autochthonous uh, a culture, you know, yeah, your parents name you, whatever, but then the society yeah, or your, or your yeah. culture has to name you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like that. Sometimes you name yourself uh-huh. like that. Okay, so uh, how long have you been? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to ask you really quick. You just, 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 just talk. When you created this piece, right? Now this is in Filippi. Yeah. So now this, I have to. This is the skate park section. Of, this is uh, skate park. Yeah. Piece of the. And we were asked to paint something that, because I mean, the skate park. This whole area, I guess, was almost um, cold. To, to, to females, like women weren't really comfortable being in the space or it didn't feel inviting for them. Oh. So the Philippi Village asked me to paint something that incorporated young women mm-hmm. and made young women feel comfortable in the space. Can we walk? I just want to see the names of the Sure, name. I got, uh, I contacted one of my friends, Karabo Muki, who's a photographer, mm-hmm. who was doing a project called Island Girls, mm-hmm. which is uh, Island Girls? Yeah, so mm-hmm. he was highlighting like, um, a skate team mm. in Soweto, an all-girls skate team. Mm-hmm. Um, so I painted one of the founders of that all-girls skate team mm-hmm. um, in this mural. So mm-hmm. like, this is actually one person, but I split, I split the face in mm. half. Oh, you know, so it's one face, but it's split in half. So you know, it's like the left side of your face looks different to the right side of your face. Right, exactly, so, surely. You know, and then I also just kind of changed the hairstyles, but it's one person. I was it's about to say, it doesn't invention. look like one person because of the mm-hmm. hair. Is exactly. okay, okay. But I mean, we're many selves ourselves. Yeah, you know, oh, there's sure. many versions of us. So. Surely, surely. You can change your hair. You can change your. You wear different masks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so this is her. This is really, uh, one of the founders of Island Girl Skate Club. Um, painted in a skate park. If you... Now, uh, uh, I guess. I really don't like genres or categories, but you know, I guess you would call this painting just read this fine art. Um, but people would say this is such a big, big mural. I, forget that P- people will say uh, graffiti, but that's not what it is. You're a muralist. You're in the tradition of those uh, those uh, what do you call those Mexican muralists. Uh, you know, those yeah, kind I mean, of. I look at it as like as mark making, right? and just a continuation of rock painting. Rock painting. Yeah. That's ah. how I look at it because that's what inspired me. Is, is seeing. <clears throat> I mean, I got I got the privilege of going to Kango Caves when I was young. Mm-hmm. I got to see all the rock, the rock paintings, and, you know, and that kind of what got me into sketching, got me into graffiti, got me into all of that. So now, where I am now, I'm, I'm just I just combine mm-hmm. colors and lines and shapes. I just make marks, you know. Yeah. I just now, make them on, on a different scale. Now, when people see, when you say rock painting, I guess we were talking about the the autochthonous, the, the original in the caves or yeah, whatever. Yeah. The the uh, I get the, the, I guess I don't know uh, they they created the croissant but who else but you know that 
that culture that was around mm -hmm. what how, how many thousands of years ago, yeah, yeah. like that. Now, did you do these? You just did that one right yeah, there, no, but I these. Just, I just did the one in the back. Yeah, um, but these these, these people. Just a whole lot of other South African Cape Tonian, uh -huh. Joe Burke artists. Oh, they all came. Okay, like that. Yeah, it's everyone from every. There's Deco. Deco did the the chicken meal. Mm. Dabon's mate did the the young girl in the corner there. Mm -hmm. I don't know who else, who else is here. Oh, so you know the artists, here. you know a lot of artists yeah, from Joburg from all over? We're, we're, we're a small community. Surely. We're a yeah. minority. Yeah, 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 surely. Um, so it's, it's, it's cool. It's cool a minority with a long reach, though. Yeah, yeah. Because the art travels. <clears throat> so, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely like a big fan and supporter of a lot of my peers. Now, a lot of times with Archie, you know, you have these uh, what we call uh, table tabletop books or whatever have you. Is there a, 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 some sort of book that that out or, or, or you know, art usually have some sort of? Mm, no, no, just I'm just on social media. Uh huh. Um, I've got a website. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not in too many publications. Oh, there's a book called Graffiti Graffiti South Africa mm -hmm. by Kale Kale Wadikun. Mm -hmm. That's actually a tabletop book. Uh -huh. You'd find most of our work. Okay, uh, but who is this person? Where is he from? This person is Kel. I think he's based in London. Oh, so he. But I met him in Joburg. He was staying in Joburg for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Kel Wadikun. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay, yeah. I, I won't keep you out, but I want to say one thing. Because he's South African. Look that up. Yeah, I will. There's uh, <coughs> there's one thing I do need to tell you because, like I said, I was in Felipe. This place here, as you see it now. I don't know if you saw it before all this stuff, before it was developed, is a old cement factory, you can see the thing. But this structure here was went all the way back, there was a whole other thing there. The reason why I know this is because we did an audio drama here one time. In fact, what happened was uh, there was um, Andy, I forgot his name, he's a big, big time uh, uh, comic artist. He brought some comic artists from around the world, well from, from, from South Africa, but there's other people around the world, and they did this project that day but these big the murals, they were like I mean, only about eight feet high, mm -hmm. uh, uh, just up to the thing. And they did these murals all over here like that. It was just a project they were doing. And uh, I had my audio drama group, some people there, and they did a presentation here. So before all this was happening, this stuff, we, we sort of vibed the place. We, we blessed the place. We anointed the place so it would become what it is right now. Everything starts from somewhere, man. Yeah, so yeah, I, appreciate, yeah. I appreciate you guys doing yeah. it. Well, that, that, that's my take. See those, those silos there? Yeah, 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 silos right there. That's the next step. I'd love to take that. Ah. So, Philippi Village is listening. Mm. Let's get the go ahead for that. Oh, wow, that, that's true. Okay. Thanks so much. I really Thank appreciate you. this. <clears throat> really.